Hello, Mr. Handsome. Are you telling me you're ready for your grain? <laughs> All right, I'll get some for you. I'm making Chester's grain up because it's likely I will play it to grain him later. So he's backed off of some grain. He's still on some, but not as much as he was because his body condition is looking better now that we're getting into spring. So we're going to do two quarts of total equine. We're going to do a little over one quart of Pro Force fuel. It's probably a quart plus a quarter of a quart. So, yeah. sunglasses on so I can't see my phone camera at all like any of the shadows but and then get sunflower pellet just the four ounce scoop and then he's getting stop it Jasper Jasper quit horses try to tear down gates especially since Jasper knows he doesn't get any grain but he still tries but anyway Chester gets two ounces of probiotic we have a little bit of the clumping right here and I just sprinkle that on top and then I I throw in like a barely dusting maybe a teaspoon of electrolyte mix um it's like supposed to be put in water but i soak this and so it works out and i just want to make sure he's getting at least a little bit extra because you know it gets hot here and we're getting into spring and all of that and so weather is changing like crazy i want him to have a little extra electrolytes especially when he doesn't want to eat um so, and it tastes really good. So, like, I think it tastes like orange Gatorade. I think that's basically what it is, is powdered orange Gatorade. It tastes pretty good. Um, so, I think it eats it a little better when it's a little bit, the food's a little bit extra flavored. And then, you get one pump of Gut X. I weaned him off because we're almost out. And so, we're down to one pump, which is the maintenance dose. And then he's also getting uh, about a pump and a half of the Regen X, which is like muscle supplement, which I think that's what a lot of his top line has been helped by because he put on like just regular body fat, but he didn't put on top line like he should until I started using this. And so and I do one and a half because it doesn't really do a full pump the first time. And so, you just do that. And now, I'm going to go take it over to the barn, get some water, take it out to the run pen, and stir it with a crusty spoon. Because it wouldn't be good horse's grain without a crusty spoon. But, I just toss that in there. I gotta unscrew the automatic water. There's a lot of pressure in it right now. I wait for it to drain out. I just wait until I stop hearing water because it like sucks it back so it doesn't like the the hydrant doesn't freeze. So. And we have cat water and dog water here. So any extra that might spill out, we can put in there. Because this hose goes up and over the roof 
or up and through the rafters, I guess. And so there's quite a bit of water that sticks there. There's not an automatic water. water because I'm making his grain a little bit extra squishy. Because I want him drinking I want him getting some extra hydration where I can. Obviously you can't make a horse drink but this gets him a little extra and I think it it's a good thing for them to get a little extra. Especially these ones that have a hard time keeping on weight. I found that if I soak their grain, they, number one, eat it better, and two, I think they digest it better. I noticed that with the same amount of grain or cubes or whatever, if you soak it really well, they tend to put on weight a lot faster than versus doing it dry. So, because Chester's young, but I've had other horses that were senior horses and whatnot that we have to grain every winter. During summer we wouldn't have to, but during winter we would. And so we did some little like experiments with whatnot over the, with ways of feeding it and whatnot over the years. So, um, and like all my Mustangs that I've had, so, Chester, Lady, and Hickory. Hickory was by far the worst, but I've grained them up a little extra because they came to me a little thin. Not like terribly thin, except for Hickory was pretty bad thin, but the other two weren't terrible. But it just, I like them, my horses to be a little bit on the bigger side. I don't like them like super fat, like I don't like how fat Coda is, but I like them not super, like lean either. So I like them to have a little bit of body fat to them. A little bit of visible body fat. So anyway, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna take this out to my round pen, let it soak a little bit more, and then we'll get Chester out. Mm, Chester is already waiting here for me at the gate. I'm not gonna let you through until you chill out a little bit. Nope. I was pushed out by Liberty yesterday. Because we let her run out here in the arena. Behave. Alright. Philip, you're gonna smash my hand and I'm gonna be very angry. Let's see. Chester's figured this out. He walks himself to his grave. Now I'm just going through a uh, pen, making sure that it's horse proof. It hasn't had a horse in it for a couple weeks now, or I guess only a week, but. Anyway, um, I have a client horse coming in today, so really excited. He's coming from literally across the state, um, almost to Utah. So that's kind of exciting that 
Yeah, no, no, lady searched me out. I'm going to bring him here. And so, I'm going to have him for at least two months to start under saddle. And then we'll reassess after that um, to see whether I take him with me to one to continue his dream because I'm going to be moving this summer. Super excited about that. Um, so we'll see, but yeah, everything looks rather okay. It's not sharp. Okay. It's had a horse in it like a week ago, but I want to make sure that everything's good because stuff has happened since then. So <laughs> the horse owner will come through and because we show them the facility and everything before they leave so that they know like what the horse's pen looks like so they can decide whether they think it's adequate for them or not. And I'm going to take this hay out and see if he's not eating it because it's kind of nasty and it still has some grain on it. Um, it's crusty butte grain, gross. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna clean this water tank here. So, yeah. We got most of the water. Nasty. So now I'm just taking a little break. Um, I got everything kind of done. I got that tank washed. I didn't film all of that, but it was kind of nasty. And then I had a riding lesson. And now I'm chilling. And I just got a text saying that my client horse is three hours out. And so, um, chilling right now drinking my main brew I don't know what concoction this I think this is one of the refreshers from there I can't tell I kind of let it sit for an hour so I don't know I'm pretty sure it's a fresher a refresher from main brew and yeah I love this place so and they're really great people I love the owners a lot so um yeah my dad was awesome he brought me some main brew so now I'm just chilling and Chester's eating some grain, or I guess he ate his grain. He's playing with his feed bucket now, but the water tank is clean. That hay is moved out. I'm going to probably clean up around here a little bit more. Um, just like there's a bunch of hair and stuff that's accumulated since like an hour ago and so I already have to re-sweep the in here out because there's already like a lot of hair in here so and I just blew right back in but that's how my day is going so far and I'll continue updating you guys because I'm trying to make a vlog today I'm not very good at this but yeah and I can't hardly see my phone without my glasses because y'all are like far away. So, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if I have shown you guys, but this is a little horse tooth. Hickory lost the cap, and I was extremely lucky and I found it in this pen. And so, and it was in his. I guess I've had it for almost a month now, but this is like a two year old cap that he just lost. It's just not, it's a little bit past two years old when they lose the molar caps, but it's a molar cap. I think it's really cute. And so I have it on a little silver chain that I salvaged from a different necklace that I never wore. So, yeah. My hat from the Cal Lot. I'm not sponsored by Cal Lot. I just love them. I'm not sponsored by Main Brew either. I just love them. But kind of sad because I've been bucked off with it on so many times um yeah but I like them flat 
it blocks the sun. But I've had it for a year now and I've gotten dumped so many times with it on. And so I'm honestly surprised like how well it's like stayed with the guy at Calot when I got it, the guy who shaped my hat. He's like, unless your dog eats it, it's gonna last you a while. And so far my dog has not eaten it, which she did, I'd be very frustrated with her. But she's an older dog, so you know very unlikely that she'd chew it up. I wouldn't say zero, but it's very unlikely and it's kept where she's too little to get. But and my horses have tried to take a bite out of it. Like Chester thinks it's food. And so he's tried to eat it. But um I mean I've been bucked off, ran in the mud, squished under a steer. Um a lot of things and it's still pretty good. Yeah. And I have this still pulled out. So I found like, you know, just normal. It has hat tape in it because my head's little and this hat is even too little or too big for me, even though it's like as small as we could get it. But, like it still fits all right. It fits kind of low on my head, but I like my hats to sit a little low. Like, obviously, like, this is where everybody keeps their hats. I'm not a fan. Like, I can roll it forward. I think it looks a little funny, but I like my hat more like that. I can see this. It feels weird. And I can't see all of everything. That's more normal, but... I suck my hat like really far down on my head until my ears look like little kid ears. Um, but in the wind, you know, it's easy to for the wind to kind of pick these up. And so what I do is I pull this out and it sucks your hat down and you just pull it back and it sucks you down pretty far. And then it's, it makes it a lot harder because there's like grips back there. So it grabs more of your head and more of your hair. So I think I learned that from Amanda Ray. I think is her tag on Instagram. She's a horse trainer and I think she's in British Columbia. So I'm not exactly sure, but I think maybe she's in Alberta, but somewhere up north in the land of snow so yeah hey guys so this is a new client horse that i got in tonight um, his name is patriot he is three-year-old uh, pink horse and he came in from the western slope of Colorado, so he's had quite a bit of a drive. And so we're just chilling tonight. I'm not going to be doing much besides just hanging out with him. Um, he's giant. He's at least 15 hands. He might be bigger. And he's only three, so, or barely three. And he's a pretty cool dude. He's been real nice. He's a little bit worked up when he unloaded but overall he's pretty good and I'm just gonna brush him tonight and hang out I do have my stick in case I have to push him off because he's a new horse I don't exactly know all of his quirks and whatever so I want to make sure that I have something to put distance between me and him in case do I think I need it not really but it's better to have it and just hold it than not have it and need it so because especially these three-year-olds they kind of have no spatial awareness so in shed season so he's shedding this is how tall this poor butt is he's like i'm like five 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 six so yeah he's ginormous he'll be fun And 
my goal with him, at least for this week, is just get his groundwork tuned up, build a relationship with him, start getting him going for my program. Um, and I mean, he's had professional training before and whatnot. Oh, would that feel good? Yeah. But I get to be the person to get on him for the first time. So, yeah. A little sweaty from the ride. That's all right. It happens. You can see how calm and pretty gentle he is. So I don't think I have many problems, at least starting out. We'll see how he is when I start getting on him, but we're going to go through all the groundwork and get him going how we need to get him going. And it'll be good. Hey, buddy. This is kind of all I'm doing tonight with him. It's kind of cool, so his white hair is a little bit shorter than his black hair. It's kind of a neat little deal. So, I mean, technically he doesn't need groom, but I like grooming them because it builds your relationship with them. It builds a good impression to the horse, essentially. If they let you groom on them, and you can groom on them, you know, I recommend doing it. Because they groom on each other when they're friends. And so if we start becoming a little bit friends with him, friends with boundaries. But, once you start come, becoming friends with them, they're confident in their friends, which are also, can be their leaders or their followers. And I wanna be his leader so that we can get our job done. So, I'm showing him that I can be his friend first. Other side. 